Welcome to Dairy Day 2019. Here we are in Library Square Park where we are experiencing the most delightful breeze on a very warm day. Um, it's like 90 degrees according to Citizens Bank, but it is perfect and the park is filled with people from all over the county celebrating Dairy Day. Um, we are going to have a cow milking contest, there's a Froyo eating contest, there is lunch for five dollars, there is Princess K of the Milky Way, Bond Guards cheese slices, FFA, 4-H, if you need it it's right here today at Dairy Day and we're going to show you some of the different aspects of this gorgeous day which is the official start of Hutchinson Summers. Okay, so now we are here with Rebecca. Yes. She is Princess K of the Milky Way. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Mary. It's so nice to be here. It's so great to have you here. And we did order a spectacular day. Yes, it's beautiful outside. Hopefully the humidity can stay to the side. I know. It is 90 degrees according to Citizens <laughs> Bank at 1136. We're on the corner here in Library Square. Um, but there's a beautiful breeze. Yes, there is. And we really enjoy that. And so do our cows over there. So, so. do the cows. So do the people who are serving food, right? Yes, yeah. they do. So tell us a little bit about your reign. Yeah. As Princess K of the Milky Way. You, you have to know I love saying that, all of that. It is fun to say, yeah. the whole name in itself. So Princess K started 65 years ago. So I have the honor of being crowned as the 65th Princess K of the Milky Way in August already. So it's been almost a year. Yeah. And so I get to enjoy many events throughout the year promoting our dairy farmers and the foods that they produce and that our cows work hard to produce too yeah. and so we promote the care farmers give at different events like this one and breakfast on the farms and school Perfect. visits great so where tell the folks where are you from yeah I come from Browerville Minnesota I graduated from Staples Motley in 2016 so I'm currently a senior at South Dakota State University holy buckets it's amazing how fast that goes oh right? it is I feel like I was just in high school so what county is Browerville in. I originally served as a princess in Todd County. Okay, mm -hmm. look at that. Yeah. It's amazing <laughs> when you travel the state because mm -hmm. you you really have gone to yeah. every corner of the state. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Um, what stands out to you the most about people who come up to you, talk with mm -hmm. you? What do they want to know? What do they want to learn? Yeah, I, I think in general, food is a very emotional topic for all of us. Right. It's something we all care about. I love food. I care about where it is and how it's grown and how it's made. Um, and so people want to trust farmers. They want to know more. And we're here to do that. You know, farmers have a very busy job. And that's the role of Princess K is to get off the farm and share exactly what we're doing on the farm to work hard for all of us to enjoy food. And that's what Dairy Day is about. It is. It's about educating people and helping them understand understand where their food comes from yeah. because yeah. it doesn't chocolate milk does not come from a brown cow it doesn't no <laughs> it actually doesn't I know that our cameraman thought that it did yeah it, I mean you can see his eyes popping out like what the heck well I'm glad we set him straight <laughs> well you know sometimes we have to but that it's true kids don't really always understand they go yeah. to the grocery store mm -hmm. and so this is always such a great way to bring the community together bring mm -hmm. in the city folks with the people who are actually producing that's yeah. why we have cheeseburgers yeah. and ice cream sandwiches and milk yes for our lunch so. oh yes and it's great to see that process because there are a lot more steps that we don't recognize from the cow to our store and our fridge right and the things that go into that mm -hmm. for safety purposes yeah for human consumption mm -hmm. people just don't process that information yeah. really because they don't have to no unless they you don't. put it in front of them no nope. and I think that's one thing I always like to stress too is I eat the same foods everyone else does as a farmer right and I enjoy having a safe and clean and tasty product right and exactly. so making sure that people know farmers care from the environment to our animals we want that product to be good and nutritious right perfect points so tell us now um, start of the summer mm -hmm. you go your rain is through the night before the state fair yes. starts yes. so what are you looking forward to most I'm looking forward to visiting with consumers eaters of all background uh, whether those are farmers or consumers who have never been on a farm before I love talking to people hearing their questions um, their concerns and their challenges that they face every day and I think making those personal connections and relationships yeah. can help us join around the table of food and have that common conversation yeah, so we definitely need to have lunch together. For we do. sure. I love I like that. that. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to be here in Hutchinson yeah. for our dairy day. Thank you for being such a beautiful and Aww. wonderful, smart, intelligent representative for Thank the you. dairy producers. That's huge. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Mary. Oh.
Zaza's a little busy, so we're going to talk to Arvis here today to see and get the deep reaction that cows have when it comes to coming to Dairy Day. So, Arvis, what do you think about this beautiful sunny day? I love me some sunshine. You know, being out at Dairy Day is just one of my favorite times of the year. I like to hang out with all the kids and their families. Uh, oh, that's perfect. Arvis, what do you think about the contest today? Do you, do you think that there is a chance that one of the princesses can win, or do you think one of our manufacturers might win instead? You know, I'm a princess fan myself, and man, do I just love being part of the cow milking contest. It's my, also my favorite part of this event. So which one of the three of you do you think is more prepared to help a guest milker win? I've been training for this day for the last year and a half, so I would say I'm definitely the one that's going to win today. Well, there you hear it, folks, straight from the cow's mouth. So with me now, I have Grace and Elizabeth. They are dairy princesses from McLeod County. Welcome, ladies. <laughs> Yes, thank you so very much for having us Absolutely. today. So I hear that you're both going to be participating or in the competition for the Princess K of the Milky Way. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct, 100%. Both of you? Yes, so yes. we will both be getting our likeness carved in 90 pounds of butter ah, in I August. I love it, I love it. That's awesome. Yes, do it for sure. Okay, so um, there's a competition. I've already spoken with Princess Kay of the Milky Way. She seems a little confident about her milking skills. And I'm guessing the both of you are both very confident as well. Sure. I don't milk cows sure. at home. I feed calves, but we're going to give it a go. I kind of do a little bit of everything, but being that we don't hand milk on our farm, like, yeah, this will be interesting. It's, a, it's something that people don't really understand. Right, yeah. that on a dairy farm you're not actually hand milking cows anymore. Right, it's, it's very rare if people do. Right, very, very rare. Um, so yeah, we're really excited. Thank you so much for being here with the rest of the ambassadors, and I wish you both great success today and in August. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. All right, so now we have our celebrity milkers, and yes, they forgot to bring my footstool. It is not a mirage. It is not. Just your eyes out of focus. All of these gentlemen will be milking today. Um, so we have Brett Haugen from Stamp and Storage, Matt Field from Goebbels, and Jack Daggett from Pride Solutions. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you very much. We're glad to I be here. I love that in unison and in harmony. Okay, so I want to hear Matt. You've got the microphone. Yes. Tell me how you feel about today. Did you practice? Did you warm up? I have not practiced. I have milked a cow before, but it's, I bet it's been 25 years or so. Okay. So. So you're really out I of practice. I hope it's like riding a bike. Yeah, sure, yep. sure. So we'll see. Okay, Jack, what do you think? Yeah, this will be my first time milking a cow. Um, I have done extensive YouTube research, um, so I'm hoping that pays off. Okay, that might be better than when the elementary uh, principal decided to read a book ah. about days on the farm. That there probably might be a little bit more helpful. There we go. Okay, Brett. What I do have you think? practiced. Uh, grateful for a local dairy farmer, the Rickmans. They gave me a, an opportunity to get a little oh. hands-on experience. So. Okay, a little bit of a ringer. You used your network. I did. That was probably pretty smart. I'm hoping to. I checked out the cows. I'm feeling pretty confident. So. Have you checked out the cows? Have you? Like, what do you think? I mean, I'm just saying the one that looks most primed is not necessarily always the winner. <laughs> uh -huh. They look like very nice gals. So <laughs> I'm hoping everyone behaves and... It all works out good. We've here. never had anybody actually fall in to well, anything. Fall into what? Anything. Okay. <laughs> Just let your imagination run wild. <clears throat> we got to try to keep it clean and not dirty here. Yeah. You get it? You get it? We get it. Cross the board. Okay. He didn't get it. We, we all got right. that. Yeah. Well, we thank you all for coming and representing manufacturing today, a dairy yeah. day. Thanks for making the time because I know you're all busy and you got other things you could be doing. But thanks for being here and good luck to all of you. Thanks, thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Glad thank you. Here. Happy to be here. All right. So, the last interview with celebrity milkers. Mm -hmm. We are now here with the ringers, <clears throat> bringing you directly to the Hutchinson Royal family. We have Queen Erin, Princess Olivia, and Commodore Tess. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. We're excited. <clears throat> um, you look prepared. <clears throat> I felt like I needed to dress the part. <laughs> you did. You did well. Okay. So among you, who's practiced the most? Probably you. No. I, I, I practiced. 
<laughs> did you YouTube anything? I did not. Did you read any elementary books about days on the farm? I have not, but I've gotten some tips. <laughs> You've gotten Hopefully tips. I can use it to win today. Okay. But we'll see. Well, we these are some just some different things that people have done in the past. Um, Mr. Olberg had a book from the library one year about day on the farm. It didn't do him any good. <laughs> just saying. <clears throat> so, do you have a strategy today? I think you start just with squeeze the and go. Yeah. <clears throat> Down yeah, that's the tip not I be got. too aggressive. I don't know. Not so. What I'm learning from the royal family is they're not going to be too aggressive. <laughs> they're going to be gentle to their cows. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice, as they have been all year. Thank, Thank you all for being here and part of Dairy Day. We're excited to see who wins your heat. I think we might have side bets going on over here. I'm kidding. No side bets that I know of. Thanks, ladies, for being here. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yep.
I never know when I'm going to make the pool a lot and maybe yeah, right. I'm scared to hurt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. 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 wait for the office, so it is right. I was super excited you were saying that. It's just better than you. I feel like I'm going to hold my hand. Thank you. So it is really, really close. And we have to give acknowledgement to the... Uh,
have shown you lots of different aspects of the dairy days here in Hutchinson, Minnesota. I'm here with the cow. Look it. Are you doing okay, cow? Did we have a good time today? Was fun had by all? Are you ready for a nap? You know, I think everybody's just about ready to finish up lunch and get back into the air conditioning. It's been a fabulous day here in Hutchinson, Minnesota for Dairy Day 2019. We came, we saw, we had a blast. Thank everybody, Kyle. Have a great day.